You know, I just came back from my holidays. I'm back in the university city. I'm in a shit mood. I got myself a pizza. Now I'm in an even worse mood, believe it or not. So, being an absolute masochist, I decided to browse Twitter. Because that's what you do. You don't have a good night's sleep in three days. You're in a bad mood, and suddenly you just decide to go on fucking Twitter. I had some videos I wanted to make, and I will be doing them sooner or later. But instead, I'm here doing this video. And why am I doing this video? Well, because I found this. This fucking shit. For those of you only listening and not looking at the screen, this is Snow White, the Disney remake, where they cast a... Uh, do I even have to say it? Now let me be very clear here. Let me be very, very fucking clear here. I am not racist. I I have a black friend. And let me just say, I am not here to say that I hate the movie because I hate black people. I don't hate black people. I'm just fu you fucking race baiters. I'm just fucking sick of fucking franchises that I grew up with. Yes, I grew up with Snow White. Fuck you. I am just sick of franchises that are well established being infested with identity politics. Put on Clay Family, you transgender confederate Asian loving Nazi libertarian. I somehow hear you say. You're just pulling a reverse TSV. You are just inflicting your own agenda on a movie you haven't even seen. Why does politics have to be brought up? Well, let me fucking tell you, I'm not the one bringing them up. What was once dubbed the Netflix effect is now infesting Disney. Hell, it's in Manifesting virtually fucking everything. Established characters in movies, games, and even fucking history get gender, identity, sexuality, and race swapped for no goddamn reason. Well, I say no reason, it's justified as inclusion. And the people who endlessly talk about cultural appropriation end up unironically then taking cultures and uh, stories related to certain cultures, like the Little Mermaid or whatever, and infest it with these racial identitarian politics. No, 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 they don't want to come up with original stories or original characters that are good, that are interesting, that are unique, and who just so happen to be black, like The Equalizer, for example. I fucking love those movies. They can't just create characters that are cool and then just so happen to be X, Y, and Z. No, they have to take established franchises, established characters, and swap their races or genders or identities. And if you say, oh, this makes no sense, this character was like this, and now it's like this, why is that? You get called a racist, homophobic, bigot, transphobe. What, you don't agree with King Henry V being portrayed as a trans person or non-binary? Well, you're just a homophobic transphobe. All of this without caring for the source material, so they can push their shitty fucking agendas. Case in point, Snow White. Or should I say Snow Black? I don't, I don't fucking know. Is that inclusive enough? A uh, Snow BIPOC? Uh, s snow... Snow BLM? I, I don't fucking know anymore. And before you fucking racial collectivists even fucking start, I'm go- You may say, oh, but what if she was the best actress possible? What- what if she was just the best candidate? That's not really how it fucking works. Uh, let me quickly point this out in case you people don't know. If there is a movie being made based on a story, and the story says, for example, that the main character is supposed to be a very tall, muscular man, they are not going to cast a fucking- a fucking midget. No offense to you short people out there. And that's if they care about the source material. But if they don't care about the source material, they will just fuck with it as they please. And how do I know that uh, the producers of this movie didn't give a flying fuck about the source material and just wanted to push their racist agenda? Alexa, what is the origin of Snow White's name? Oh, let's, let's read this. And the red looked pretty upon the white snow, and she thought to herself, would that I had a child as white as snow, as red as blood, and as black as the wood of the window frame. Soon after that, she had a little daughter, who was white as snow, and she was therefore called Little Snow White. And when the child was born, the queen died. In some, in what is believed to be the original story from the Brothers Grimm, the meaning and origins of Snow White's name came from her mother and was based on her appearance. The fictional character named her daughter for appearing white as snow, which seemed to refer to her skin color. That's right, Snow White is called Snow White because of her Snow White skin. And I hate to be someone who has to be talking about fucking skin color because it's fucking irrelevant 99.9% .9 of the time. But I have to bring it up because these fucking people can't help themselves but 
but to bring their shitty fucking ideologies down our fucking throats. That being the 0.01%. They know their shit fucking politics won't stand up for five seconds in real life, so they have to do shit like this. But Emily, why do you care? It's just a movie. It's just, it's just a movie. Why do you care? It doesn't matter. Just move on. All right, motherfucker, make Wakanda white. You want to be inclusive, don't you? And the most depressing part is that for all you people here with more than three-fourths of a brain cell, you may be thinking, well, this is obvious. This is obviously bullshit. Why would anybody defend this? It's just ridiculous. Well, but the sad reality is that a lot of people actually defend this shit, and they defend it with absolute conviction, but will absolutely flip out the second you fucking suggest the opposite be done. There are people who actually support this shit being done, even when they absolutely know that it is being done specifically to disrespect the original source material and just shove in their politics. And jokes aside, the sad reality is that I can't find myself enjoying movies with diverse casts anymore. Diverse in skin tone and identity this time. I am actually at a point now where I cannot enjoy a lot of media simply because when I see a differing skin tone or sexuality in a movie or show or whatever, I cannot help but think that that was done for political reasons. And it's sad really because you could have just written a good original story instead of taking something that was already well established and bending it to your fucking political will. But all things considered, there is actually a way you can do some race bending and still give at least me some personal enjoyment. You can do race bending and still give a lot of people a lot of amusement. Make Wakanda white. The smooth brain race baiters among you won't be able to tell if I'm joking with that or not. It's gotten so bad that China has now unironically developed an application that changes the skin colors of fucking people in movies. And the demonstration was literally done on Ariel from The Little Mermaid. <laughs> so yeah, please stop infecting the media that we fucking love, and we being everybody, regardless of skin tone, with your fucking politics. Thank you.